Is full-time entrepreneurship really the answer? I don't know. What do you think? Thanks for watching Startup Life Support. I'm Aisha Cogborn. If you're working full-time while you're building your business, you might feel like, all of life's problems will magically go away if you could just devote all of your time to your business. Now, if you're a full-time entrepreneur, there may be days that you find yourself lusting after the security of a steady paycheck. Whatever side of the fence you're on, neither place provides a magic pill for success or happiness. Today on Startup Life Support, we're going to talk about three areas that you can focus on to make the most of where you're at right now. First, let's talk about your money. Set up a disciplined savings plan. If you're still working, make sure that you're stocking some money away because at some point you're going to need to invest in new services or assets to grow your business. And if you're planning to transition into full-time entrepreneurship, you're gonna want some extra money in the bank. Now let me say this, just because you may have disposable income to devote to your business, don't go spending money on stupid stuff. Just because you can buy it doesn't mean that you should. And if you're frustrated because you don't have money to invest in your business, it's okay for now. It's just gonna force you to work smarter. When I was building my business on a shoestring, I tell you, I learned how to do just about everything for myself. And the stuff that I couldn't do, I looked for opportunities to barter. So it doesn't mean that you can't keep moving forward. Second, let's talk about your time. Don't let the flexibility of being your own boss drive you to the poorhouse. You still need to have a set schedule, office hours if you will. How many hours a week you work, that's for you to determine, but consistent effort is going to help to deliver consistent results. If you're working your business while you're working a job, figure out when and where you're most productive. I used to be able to burn the midnight oil, but the older I get, the less oil I've got. So I realized I gotta go to bed early and then I can get up early and work. Just figure out what works for you. I also recognize that sometimes I can't work at home, especially on the weekends because I get distracted by all the stuff around the house that needs to be done and that's not good for a recovering procrastinator. So I'll go to a coffee shop instead and get it done. Figure out what works for you. And the third thing, have a clear focus. This really goes hand in hand with how you spend your time and how you spend your money. Whether you're devoting five hours a week to your business or 50, ask yourself, am I working on the right things? So literally, pull out your vision, pull out your goals, because you've gotta be clear on that before you can be clear on your focus. Look at your to-do list and ask yourself, do they match up? And if they don't, it's time to recalibrate. All the time in the world will not fix it if your focus is off. You're just gonna have more time to be scattered. Well, that's it for today. If you've got some tips to share or you've got some challenges that you'd like us to help you with, be sure to share them in the comments below. And as always, if you've got something out of this, be sure to share it because you know the drill, sharing is caring. So until next time, here's to your success on purpose.